Good morning guys! I'm literally starting this vlog like right after the last one. I never do that. It feels really exciting. I'm not sure why. Oh my god, who remembers this? Homeoplasmine. That's definitely not how you pronounce it. This was such an old school blogger favourite. Like back in the day, Beauty Mart. Oh my god, that is where you used to get products like this, Beauty Mart. Old school beauty blogging days. I mean, it's a French pharmacy product. Do you remember when French pharmacy products just like blew up and like suddenly everyone was obsessed with like Bioderma? And what else was there? Bioderma, this was a big one. It's just like a clear balm, but it's kind of like slightly matte. Oh my god, I just it's probably so old. I just found it in my drawer, but really like that. I am makeup free as you can see I need to do my um, makeup for the day oh my god I know I sound like such a nosy neighbor because like in my last video I was listening to my neighbors arguing but the people who live opposite me are about to have a baby and they're like putting the car seat in the car and oh my god it's so exciting I can't bear it this few weeks leading up to it oh my god so exciting so I am doing proper makeup today because me and Anna have our live Zoom event tonight with Clarins. We actually just did a run through and it went really well. My laptop's broken though, which is a pain, which means I literally had to like take my desktop computer downstairs. The tech run through went really well. So that is good. I am putting on a thick layer of makeup because it's only half 11 and the event is until six. <laughs> so I need it to last. I don't know, is there like special Zoom makeup? There probably is. Do you know what I'm really tempted to do? I keep seeing people was it on like a TV show? Oh, I was watching Firefly Lane. Firefly Lane, I think that's what it's called. I really liked it actually. And in the throwback scenes from the 80s, she was wearing, I think it was like green eyeshadow, like lime green eyeshadow. And I just thought that looks so cool. I don't know if I could pull it off because I've got slightly hooded eyelids. It just, it made me want to try it. Not tonight. Today is not the day to experiment with makeup on a Zoom event with possibly 2,000 people. <laughs> I really wish my eyebrows had been done, but I'm hoping that sort of detail just won't show up. How have you guys been since I last vlogged? I'm very much enjoying Rich's week off work. Like I said before, it's just giving me a bit more flexibility. You know I ordered those glasses from Ace and Tate. Well, they have arrived, which is really exciting. I'm gonna try them on with you guys and we can see if any of them suit me. I'm just using, um, I've gone back to this NARS soft matte concealer. I just use my finger to like press it in. It's just being announced when like hair salons and stuff are gonna open again. I'm hoping Hershey's open their bookings, I think tomorrow, and I am gonna book in as soon as I can with Adrian. He is such a great hairstylist. I really liked the cut that he did last time. I'm gonna book that as soon as I can. My hair just, it really needs like a good, chop. Sorry, it really looks like I'm putting on loads of makeup. I kind of am. I feel like on camera you have to like put on more than you think. I don't usually go for powder products but I'm going to today and I'm gonna set my makeup which again I wouldn't do on a normal day. I'm just gonna set it with the Charlotte Tilbury um, airbrush powder literally just under my eyes and anywhere where my kind of makeup tends to disappear and then I'm gonna use powder bronzer which I also don't normally do. Um, this is Fenty Beauty. I love the cream bronzer and the powder bronzer. I think in today's video I will do an empties. I've got so many empty products I showed you guys in my last vlog and I can talk you through the products I've finished up and whether I like them, whether I would repurchase them. Give myself some cheekbones over here. This blusher is new from Vive uh, Makeup, which is Jamie Genevieve's makeup line. She's done so well, like I'm so proud of her. And yeah, she's just released some new blushes. This is in the shade Cherub, which looks really, really pink. But I find that if you just tap a tiny amount of product on, and then I kind of take this one up my cheekbones a little bit, it's very fresh. It really kind of brightens um, my face and I absolutely love a blush. They're very pigmented though and they are quite like whoa shades. I think hopefully she'll bring some more shades out in the future and there'll probably be one that's more suitable for like paler skin as well. Look, I really like that, just blend it in. I think it looks really fresh on the skin. I'd much rather a blusher that has like a lot of pigment and you can tap off the product rather than one that you find that doesn't even really show up on the skin. Okay, I'm gonna try and do something with these brows. Oh my God, they are out of control. I got sent this new mascara this week from L'Oreal. It's their Easy Waterproof Air Volume Mega Mascara. I thought today was a good day to try a waterproof so that my lashes kind of last for later. I don't normally wear waterproof just because I can't really be bothered with the removal part of it. This is what the brush looks like. Okay, let's give it a go. Oh 
feel like you're getting a real close up of my brows at the moment. That's nice. I can tell straight away when a mascara just like works. That is a good mascara. Wow, I wasn't expecting to like it. It grips the lashes really well and is quite like wet. Wow, this, this, this eye has much thinner eyelashes than the other side. Okay, makeup done. Should we try on some of those glasses? I don't want to wait any longer, although I'm going to get makeup all over them. These are my current glasses, just to remind everybody. Bailey Nielsen. Let me go get the other ones. First thing to note, it comes in reusable packaging, because obviously you send them back before you decide which ones you want, if you want any of them. So that's really good, this is all reusable. Ah, so it's like a Velcro bag. Hi Lily, now you've received your frames, you've got five days to take them for a test drive. Once you've made a decision, place your order and we'll send you your chosen pair with the right prescription. Sorry, but this is so fun. Okay, so these are the ones that I've chosen and they're all kind of clear actually. So look, I've got like a proper clear frame and then I've got one that's like in a gray toned smoke kind of color and then one that's like in a blush colour. I don't think, I mean, none of these might suit me, <laughs> but it's fun to try. Okay, eee, I'm scared. Shall I start with like the pink? I don't think I like the grey ones. Are they the same shape? I think two of them are the same and one's different. Okay, ready? Okay, how do we feel about these? They're not too bad. They're quite low on my cheek. I'm not sure about that, but they are not too bad. Wow, my eyebrows just are not helping the situation at all. Okay, pink pair. This is the kind of smoke gray ones. I don't think I like those. Okay, what about the clear ones? Those have definitely been, okay, that's not gonna help. These are like, these aren't straight. So I'm just gonna have to like bear that in mind that they don't really, they're not gonna fit that well. Those are the clear ones. Do the clear ones suit me? Clear or pink or neither? Neither. Neither or neither. They're kind of like pink, pink tortoise shell. I think I like these. Oh, this is exciting. Although I feel like the clear ones are a bit more like trendy, right? Oh, it's really annoying because these are kind of slightly broke, damaged these ones, so it's hard to tell. I'm gonna go downstairs and show Rich. <laughs> Rich isn't sure. He thinks the clear ones are kind of cooler. He likes them both. He's like, get both. I'm like, that is not helpful, okay? I need to do, this. I literally did this in my last video, but this is what I do when I'm not sure of something. I just asked my friend Debs. Debs, I'm trying on new glasses. Which ones out of these two do you think? Okay, ready? These clear ones or kind of blush tortoise shell. What do you think? Okay, she's already replied. She's super speedy always. She said, firstly, pretty. <laughs> Thanks. Secondly, both really suit you. Love the clear. Oh, I knew you were gonna say that. Okay, I've put it on Instagram. I just love a poll. <laughs> I just can't decide whether to just get both. I think I might, because then I can keep one in the car and I keep one in the house. Rich has just been oiling our bench. We've just used like a clear varnish, just because in case Grey's like got mucky hands or something and she just goes like that, like the raw wood, it would just stain. So it's, it gives it a bit of protection without changing the color, hopefully. This is what I've made for lunch. It looks so messy, but it's gonna taste delicious. Garlic mushrooms and kind of soft boiled eggs. Actually, I forgot to salt it. I need to put some salt on it. I've had quite a few people on Instagram say that Ace and Tate actually take quite a long time to send you the glasses um so i don't know i've never used them i have no idea um i've had also a recommendation of bloom and look into blue bloom because they donate a pair to someone in need for every pair bought and they're great price and great and great quality so that's good to know okay i'm gonna eat my lunch and get on some work at the same time okay i feel like this is going to be controversial which is ridiculous because it's about washing and it shouldn't be controversial, but we don't use a washing line. I don't know if it's just because we never really did growing up in my house. The weather is so unpredictable in the UK that it's like not really something to rely on. People always say that their washing smells amazing when they let it dry outside. But I feel like we live really near to like, oh my God, there's a cat in the garden. <laughs> Sorry, that really scared me. We live really near to like a really busy road. I feel like it would just make everything really like pollution-y. I don't know, but I want to give it a go. This is so ridiculous. I also just think we have so many foxes and stuff in our garden. Like, I just don't feel like the clothes wouldn't feel clean if I put them in the garden and then brought them back in. I don't know. It's much better for the planet to just air dry clothes outside. So I want to give it a go. I just got a new sheet for Grey's bed. This is the sheet I was telling you guys about from the Organic Sheep Company. It actually was in the tumble dryer, but I've taken it out. 
um, our washing line is upstairs, our clothes horse, so I've just put it on our kitchen stools and stretched it out. And I'm going to let it finish air drying out here and then I will give it the test and see if it smells of lovely fresh air or if it smells like um, petrol. Look at this guy just hanging out over here. Hello. Look how nice the sheet is though. I really, really love the colour and the print. Is it just me? Don't answer if you live in a nice sunny country. If you live in the UK, if you live in London, because London's very like car heavy, do you dry your clothes outside or do you just put them in the tumble dryer? Imagine if I came back and the cat there had like jumped in and made it a little hammock. That'd be very annoying because I'd have to rewash it. <laughs> oh my god, I've just been shooting a jewellery job and because I had to keep reshooting, I had to keep taking the earrings in and out. I've literally been bleeding like everywhere. <laughs> it's crazy, I've had these piercings for so long but my ears like, if I don't wear earrings for like a day, they close up and then taking earrings in and out because I just had to keep reshooting. Ouch, ouch. Ugh, oh, really enjoying the sunshine right now. I got a couple of cards from um, Papier and I got this one for my mum. How pretty is it? Happy Mother's Day. I really, really love the illustrations and they came quite fast as well. Such a nice website. I mean, it hasn't been outside for long, but it does smell good. It just smells like the washing stuff though, but it kind of smells stronger than I feel like it normally would. Maybe the fresh air like brings out the smell of the washing powder more. Oh my God, sorry, this is so boring. I'm gonna put it on her cot now. Oh my God, we just like find dummies everywhere. So nice and so much nicer than the gray sheets. And it's really soft. Okay, it's much later in the day now and I'm just setting up for our Clarins Zoom meetup. I'm not going to change my outfit. I'm only really showing myself there up and I think this is quite nice. I do need to go get a lipstick though and I've just kind of topped up my makeup a little bit. But I thought I'd show you a little bit of behind the scenes setup. I'm so nervous. I don't know why I'm so nervous. I've got my ring light here, which I never ever use, but I thought just in case, I feel like the lighting in this kitchen now, it's like the evening is not great. We've got some notes. I've got a bottle of water, microphone, headphones products to talk about, gift with purchases to talk about, snacks just in case I start to feel a bit weak. <laughs> yeah? Do you want me to come say goodnight? Yeah. Okay. It's at six o'clock, which is pretty awkward time actually. Grey has her bath at like half six. So Rich and Grey are having to like hide upstairs and watch TV. And then um, she normally goes to bed about seven, so I'll probably be finishing up around the same time. That was so much fun. Oh my God. There were so many people on that Zoom and you guys were commenting like, this feels like a live podcast. It's so nice to see you guys. I feel buzzing. That felt like an actual meetup. Like I haven't done anything like that in so long. So thank you to anyone who came. We actually now have a Zoom for Rich's mum's birthday. So we're gonna quickly make some dinner, get on a Zoom to wish a happy birthday and I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Morning guys. So I'm gonna talk you through all of my empties. My basket is absolutely overflowing. I like watching empties because I feel like it just shows what people actually really use up. Actually something worth mentioning recently that I tried and I really didn't like is the Drunk Elephant Baby Facial. Oh my God, I knew it was meant to be quite strong, but the name Baby Facial to me just makes me feel like baby soft skin. Obviously baby skin's very delicate and sensitive. That stuff, oh my God, I had it on for 10 minutes. I'm meant to have it on for 20. And after 10 minutes, my skin was just burning. So I washed it off and I had the most red face. Rich was literally laughing so much. I was so worried. Luckily it was fine the next morning, but my skin was so red. Nah, that was not for me. So let me start going through some of these things. This one was just a single use mask actually. And I used this two nights ago. It's from Verso and it's the deep hydration mask. I really like how this comes in two sections. It has like the top section of your face and the bottom. And unlike most sheet masks, I found this actually stayed on really well. I went downstairs and I cooked dinner in it and it felt very hydrating, it was really easy to apply. But I, again, I found after about 10 minutes, my skin was starting to kind of tingle and, and get a bit hot. So I decided to take it off because I didn't want to risk it. But it did feel nice before that while it was on and it was easy to apply. The Kate Somerville Delicate Soothing Cleanser. This is not the first one that I finished and I absolutely love this. It's probably my favorite cleanser from Kate Somerville. Very good for delicate, sensitive skin, a really nice creamy cleanser. It also removes makeup. I tend to use it as a second cleanse. If you're looking for a new cleanser, I would really, really recommend Kate Somerville. I properly used that up. It's so great. And of course, I've got a Clinique Take the Day Off balm in here. 
I actually haven't got a replacement. I really need to order one. This is just a really great makeup remover. It's a balm that turns into an oil, removes makeup really well. Oh my God, guys, you know how I used waterproof mascara yesterday? I couldn't get it off last night. So my eyelashes are all like clumpy today, but this would have helped if I had some. I finished off the bread hair products that I talked about in my haul. So it's a shampoo and a conditioner. It's meant for curly hair. It says curly types 3A to 4C. It's like I mentioned, the packaging was tricky. Lots of you commented saying, ideally I would have like a glass bottle in my shower and I could just use these as the refills. And lots of brands are doing these now, which is great. I really liked it, but I feel like it's a little bit heavy for my hair. Just something about it just felt a little bit too heavy, um, but I did use them all up and I think they would, they're really great products and really good if you have curly hair and you want like a deep hydration. They smell really good as well. Oh, like really sweet, but nice, kind of like ice cream. Another hair product that I really like is from Kiehl's and this is the Amino Acid Conditioner. The name of this product is, like I didn't use it for years. I think Anna used it for years and I was like, acid? Why would I want to put like acid on my hair? But if, it's Amino Acid Conditioner. So it's got pure co coconut and jojoba oil. Um, and it's for all hair types. I don't think I would repurchase this just because I'm trying to use um, hair products that are more specifically aimed at my hair type now. But if you're just looking for like a really good shampoo and conditioner, this range is one I've used for years and it's really nice. Still on the hair thing, um, IGK, I love IGK as a brand. Their products are so good. If you haven't tried them, you really, really must. And I think they do minis, which is a good way to try a new brand. This is called Expensive and it's the High Shine Top Coat. I think I put it on after I conditioned my hair, leave it on for a few minutes and then wash it off. And it's like, you can instantly feel your hair just goes so soft. Like, I don't know how it works, but it works. Like a top coat for nails, it's a UV protecting glaze, instantly forms to the hair, creating a transparent weightless shield that adds intense color depth and dimension. It really works. Also, I love how their products are vegan, cruelty-free, gluten-free, petroleum and mineral oil-free, paraben and sulfate-free. I always try to use paraben sulfate free hair products another empty from the shower again one that i've just had for years like this was not finishing no matter how much i used it it's from aesop and it's the geranium leaf body scrub this is such a treat to buy i miss going into like the aesop stores and like buy myself something like this such a treat this is probably one of the best body scrubs i've ever used i love that it comes in a tube and rather than a pot why do body scrubs always come in a pot? I like to scrub in the shower and I find that pots, you then get like a pool of shower water in it and it's just messy. I love that this comes in a tube. It's scrubby enough that you feel like you're doing something, but it's not harsh. It's like, and it's not too oily either, which means it's good to use before you tan. It smells fresh, green. I would definitely repurchase this. Aloxitan shower oil. Look how massive this is. And now I've got another one of these in the shower. Me and Rich both use these. The almond shower oil is just their best product by far. It's great for shaving. It's a gorgeous, sweet almond scent and it leaves your skin feeling really, really soft. I finished off the Cowshed Utterly Gorgeous Bath and Shower Gel. So this is one I had left over from when I was pregnant. It's their um, like pregnancy safe one. And this is actually a really nice gift if you know anyone that's pregnant because a lot of bath products you can't use while you're pregnant because of the essential oils. And this one's like totally safe. And you know how I feel about cow shed. Oh, just smells so good. I can't wait to go back to a cow shed and like have a massage or a facial or something. Do you guys remember when I had uh, like crazy flaky hair like a couple of months ago, just out of nowhere, I was getting like big chunks of flakes falling off my head. It was horrible. I used these, they're from Sashuan and it's the scalp shampoo and conditioner. I'm now using the Philip Kingsley, which is one that I always go back to, but I just want to like finish these off and they're really, really nice. It really did work. Like the flakes just went like almost instantly. Um, and these are just ones that I was sent years ago that I had and I wanted to finish off and yeah, they, it worked. It was really nice. Well, I've got some candles. I finished a uh, Diptyque Bay. I'm definitely going to keep this pot because it's like one of the nicer ones. Bay is the best candle they do. I would say Bay comes first and then Fig. Bay is more of like a black currant scent. 
Oh, it's so, so gorgeous. There is actually a little tiny bit left in there that I probably have to like scoop out. Best gift you could ever buy anyone. I've got a Space NK Shimmering Spice Candle. This is their like Christmas scent. And I also finished a Jo Malone Wild Fig and Cassis. Is this the one they've discontinued? Maybe they still have the candle. They definitely discontinued the perfume, which I was just gutted about. This candle, I think I was sent years ago um, and it's from Anya Highmarsh. How cool is that? It's got this kind of like sticker on it that says yes. Again, I think I might keep that pot, it's really cool. The candle, yeah, I remember burning this one. It smells like holiday, it smells like sun cream and like coconut, which is not something you would really expect from the packaging, I think, but it was really nice. Does it say what it is? Sun, oh my God, it's called sun lotion scented candle. Duh, it literally smells like sun cream. I have another Clinique cleanser. I also have another product from Kate Somerville, Delicate Recovery Cream. So it looks like this in a little, pot god it feels heavy considering it's empty it's like a really heavy pot this also so so lovely i just love this like soothing range i kind of forgot about that but i would definitely repurchase this really nice as like an evening soothing i love putting on like a thick night cream in the evening so that was lovely there's the keels amino acid shampoo to go with the conditioner i've got a mascara i've been getting through quite a lot of mascaras recently i need to get some new ones actually because i'm not that happy with the ones i've got at the moment but this is one i really like from urban decay and it's the perversion mascara it's just a big fluffy brush um which is exactly what i like in a mascara also a brow pencil at the moment i'm using one from benefit i don't do that much with my brows so i just need like a thin pencil to fill in the front and the arch a little bit and I don't like the big chunky ones I feel like I end up overdrawing my brows this is just the Anastasia Brow Wiz and it's a very nice thin pencil I feel like I get a different shade every time because I always forget what I am this one's dark brown and it's got a little spoolie on the other end another candle this one is again from Jo Malone dark amber and ginger lily I'm not so much a fan of the black candles they're much kind of heavier scents and they're very like oody scents and sometimes they make me feel a bit like lightheaded they're a bit heavy so i wasn't so much a fan of that one and i've also got this beautiful candle from atelier cologne like how pretty is that this is tobacco texas again quite a heavy scent actually i'm definitely more into the kind of lighter fruity black currant scents another cleanser this time from ren this is the clean jelly oil cleanser this is really nice it comes out yeah like a kind of clear jelly texture and as you rub it into the skin it turns into an oil and it really just like melts away your makeup i've got a glossier super bounce serum very nice hydrating serum i just find it's kind of too small and i like look you can see there's product left but it doesn't really I like can't get it on the pipette. I think the packaging's a bit like cheapy for this and I find it a little bit frustrating to use, but I do like the product. Oh, this is absolutely something I need to repurchase. Actually, I literally was thinking about this the other day and I couldn't remember the name of it. When I was going through my crazy skin moment and my skin was just reacting to everything and my lips were sore, my eye was eczema -y. It was Dr. Emma Wedgworth that told me to just like strip everything back to basics and just use this. I mean, look, I've literally used the whole thing. It's from Aven and it's the skin recovery cream in the rich texture very basic nice thick moisturizer and it just did the job and i wasn't using all of these like fancy creams and products and it really sorted out my skin and i feel like i always need to have one of these in my collection for the days when my skin is feeling a little bit sensitive i'm gonna keep this out to remind me to buy another one pixie vitamin c serum i used this for a while in the morning and um it was really nice i feel like vitamin c is a very kind of brightening glowy product and if you're going to use a vitamin c use it in the morning and i think this is a nice one to try actually some people find that vitamin c breaks them out but like i said they just kind of stripped everything back so i'm not using a vitamin c at the moment but i think if you're interested in trying one this is a nice one another makeup product i always think it's so exciting when i finish a makeup product so this is the fenty beauty cream bronzer in butter biscuit i love it i did repurchase it Although I do have some things I don't love about the packaging. As you can see, when I got to the end, I ended up with product around the edge that I couldn't really get to. And what was happening is the metal was wearing away at the bottom of the pan. I felt like I was just literally putting like metal on my face. So I kind of gave up on this. Weirdly, it also turned my bronzer brush blue. And I don't know if that's to do with like the chemicals or all the metal or the packaging. I don't know. I did repurchase it because I really love it. But I find that kind of a little bit weird. This is a product I got in LA 
or New York, like years ago when I went with Anna, it's from Dry Bar, which is like their blow dry bars out there, and it's called Velvet Hammer. It's a hydrating control cream for thick, coarse hair, so it's just like a styling cream. And I remember they used this on me, and I thought it was really nice, and I loved the scent, so I just kind of use it every now and again. I've been using it up. Oh my god, I, that's why I liked it. It smells like hair salon, you know, that proper like hairdresser smell. Oh my god, guys, the hairdresser booking line opened today and I booked myself an appointment. It's like 8 a.m. on a Friday, but I am so pumped. The Inky List Hyaluronic Acid, really, really nice. One I always recommend to people who say like, oh, I really just want like a hydrating serum. Rich uses this as well. It's just a great one to use morning and night as a kind of a layer within the skincare sandwich to add hydration to your skin. The packaging is very small, like look how tiny that is and very lightweight, but I think that's what makes the brand affordable. I would definitely repurchase that. Oh, I have two. I told you I liked it. Two more products left. Um, Embryolisse body cream. So I was just using this whenever I faked hand, I would put this on my elbows, on my knees, on my ankles. Embryolisse is a French uh, pharmacy brand. And oh my God, this was the brand I was trying to think of yesterday. Just a really basic moisturizer. There's absolutely nothing fancy going on there. And the final product again from IGK is the Crybaby Anti-Frizz Smoothing Serum. So this is just a serum you can put on like wet or dry hair. I liked it, but I sometimes just find that serums are too kind of greasy. I feel like if I've got clean hair, I don't really want to put a serum on because it makes it feel greasy and like it's too slippy, it's too silicone-y. So I'm not a massive, I wasn't a massive fan of this, which is an annoying one to end on because I liked most of those products. Those are my empties. Oh my God, guys, you know the mango loungewear set that I showed you in my last video? I thought they were a little bit small, but I kind of wore them high up, so they did fit. And um, at the end of the Zoom, I looked. <laughs> Look at the sides, massive massive holes like what the hell this is like the first time i was wearing them that should not happen i've like contacted mango to see what they can do because i've already sent back like the box with the dress in it i ordered some of the little people big dreams books for gray obviously she's too little at the moment way too little to read them i think like prime age is probably like six or seven but for now i thought they'd look lovely in her room and something that she can look at every now and again and when she's old enough she can read i just love the idea of these books so they're like each book is about a different person like well-known famous person and their kind of story about them and they've got such an amazing selection of people it was really hard to pick i just chose five so the first one is Astrid Lindgren who wrote Pippi Longstocking so she's an author I wanted I wanted each person to have a very like clear different kind of career Ella Fitzgerald obviously musician singer Zaha Hadid she's a very famous architect and I thought that's so cool like when do you ever read books about famous female architects like I just would not have known that being an architect was even an option. So that one's really cool. Maria Montessori, obviously like Montessori kids teaching and Anne Frank, who I'm hoping you all know who Anne Frank is. And they're obviously all really lovely colors, really nice like illustrations. Look how nice they are inside. Let's go put these up in her bedroom. Okay, I thought maybe they could go here. She likes playing with these blocks. So I'm gonna take them down. That looks nice. So I've just stacked them here with her little light on top. And I think that looks really nice. I think this um, little pot will look really good in here as well. And I can use it to store her hair bands in. So I'm gonna clean that out. I could either put it here or it could go, like we use this pot for her hair bands now, but as you can see, it's literally overflowing. So I could, could put that there. So I'm gonna go downstairs now and just like clean that out because it's got candle in it and i'm gonna end this vlog here because i've got a busy work day ahead of me so thank you guys so much for watching please leave me a comment and say hi i'd love to chat and i'll see you in my next video bye